And in this video, we're going over the SPA 7A lender report. So if you're a small business owner, if you're someone that's looking to start a business through the app and you're trying to finance it through the SPA 7A program, this is a good report for you all to look through and see what banks are actually lending SBA loans. And I would go to your state and see which ones are more popular than the other one. So you're always going to have, you know, your uh, your local banks that are doing these SBA loans. But also there's a, there's big banks um, that do, they're typically in the top three to five. They're online banks that you can go, uh, you can apply online and you never actually have to meet someone in person. You just submit your documents online. I use these for my clients all the time. That's who I, I, I never actually go through local banks for the SBA. So as you can see on the screen here, if you look at <clears throat> New Tech Bank, they're, um, so they used to broker SBA loans. Now they went, they went public a year ago and now they actually, uh, they'll actually lend out the money themselves now. So they used to broker it. They, they would take your information and then say, all right, well, then you might be a good fit for this and this bank or this bank out, you know, in California or this bank in New York and Florida, wherever. Um, but uh, they would actually match you with the right bank to, to fit your profile and, and lend the SBA loan. Now they do everything in house. So they'll take, you know, they'll process your information and actually lend you the money as well. Uh, say with Live Oak Bank in North Carolina, Huntington Bank in Ohio, I work with it. I work with New Tech in Huntington a lot. ReadyCap is an online lender. I'm not sure about Northeast Bank. Obviously, JP Morgan, Morgan Chase is the biggest bank in the country now. Uh, Kelta Bank is online. So a lot of these are a lot of these are online lenderstry. They're online as well. Uh, it, and I have the link in the module too, if you want to follow along and, and play along with this. But what I would do is I, the first thing I would do once you click on the link, go to your state. So I live in Kentucky, so I'm going to go to Kentucky, and it says fiscal year 2025. I would switch over to 2024 here because the fiscal year ended, the 2024 fiscal year ended at the end of October. So they only have eight days of data. So you can see here, like if I'm looking at Kentucky, they did, uh, let's see, 520 SBA 7A loans last year, $217 million, average loan size 417000 So if you go back to 2025, you'll see, you know, they've only done 58 deals so far. Actually, I think it, it stops at the, um, I think it's, it stops at the beginning of October or maybe it's the end of September. So they've, they've had about a month and a week now of data coming through. And you can see that Kentucky's done a little under $20 million so far for the fiscal year 2025. So again, just go back to 2024 because there's more data. Uh, you want to see who are the most popular banks, like as far as who's the ones that are lending out the most SBA 7A loans. Because you don't want to go to a bank that they've done like one or two deals the whole year. Unless you, unless that's your bank, you're already banking with them. Maybe go ahead and try that. So like in Kentucky stockyards, they're a big, uh, more like a local regional bank. They did 36 deals. So you can see here, this is what I like to see too. Is they, okay. So they did 36 deals last year that for $31 million, that average loan size is 866,000. That's pretty sizable SBA 70 loan. And then you see the, the big national banks, the online banks, Live Oak, Huntington Bank. Uh, U.S. Bank, okay, and then you have Community Trust Bank, which is another uh, local Kentucky bank, okay. New Tech's down here as well. They so here here's the interesting stuff to look at. So like New Tech likes smaller deals. So if you go down here, you see New Tech National Association. They did 25 deals for 7.1 million dollars, and the average loan size was 287 thousand. Okay, so they they did nine less deals. I'm sorry, 11 less deals in stockyards. And stockyards, and you know, their average loan size was eight sixty six, eight hundred sixty six thousand. New tax was two eighty seven. Okay, so you you get a feel for what, based on your needs, how much money you need for your SBA loan. That's how I would max this up. Okay, and you want to make sure that they've done a significant amount. So, like People's Bank out of Mississippi, you know, that's pretty far away from Kentucky. I know they do have some local banks in Kentucky. Um, but, uh, you know, they only did three deals for 8.4 million and their average loan size was $2.8 million. So they're looking for a very specific, um, business to be able to lend to that, that needs, you know, a lot of money versus, uh, new tech again, only needing, you know, those, those banks were typically $287,000. So it's a huge, huge difference. What were the, some of the other ones? So Huntington, like smaller deals too, 226, U.S. Bank, 253, Community Trust Bank, um, two thirty three. So you all kind of get the feel. So let's let's just do a bigger state just for you all to see the numbers. Let's see Florida. 
So let's see, Florida did way more than Kentucky, which is not a surprise. They did 5,000 almost 5,900 deals. Approval amount was $2.8 billion. Average loan size was 479. So again, what I would do if I was a small business owner in Florida, or you are uh, someone that's doing this, you know, who's a part of this community, or you're watching this video, and you're wanting to start a business in Florida, I would look at this report and I'd say, okay, new tech again, online lender, new tech, live of May, um, first internet bank of Indiana. They're another online one. Obviously bank of America is huge. Let's see red cap lending. Another online lender. Bay first is online. Huntington national is online. Okay. So it's no surprise that in 2024, almost 2025 now, most of you guys don't want to go into a branch and have to like sit down and actually talk to the banker. You want to be able to do everything online. Obviously the technology is catching up now. More and more banks are offering this. And um, it's great because you submit all your information. If you get pre-qualified, you get on the phone with a banker and you start that process. And it makes these SBA loan turnarounds a lot quicker than what it used to be. You can see, get these deals done in four to five weeks versus in the past. It took about three months to get it done. Okay. <laughs> so again, excuse me, you can see trades here live up. $1.4 million average loan size. New tech was just under 500K. So you can see what deals they like. Um, so if you need more money, Live Oak makes more sense than going to New Tech Bank. So again, uh, make sure you click in your state. Uh, if you do want to look at the 504 program, like if you're looking to finance uh, commercial real estate where you're actually going to occupy that space and operate the business out of, look at the 504 program. A lot of states only have a few different lenders, even like Florida that does a ton of volume. They only have six different lenders, six different banks that will do 504 loans. So you can look at that as well. But uh, if you all have any questions or comments, please put it down below. And if, um, you know, you all go through the process, tell me what kind of lenders you're looking out for. And tell me if, you, if you'd if you actually prefer, I, I would imagine most of you will prefer working with an online lender and bank, but let me know if you actually, you like going into the branch and having that personal connection with the banker and, uh, you know, obviously doing things face-to-face. -face. So we'd love to hear that feedback as well. All right.